In this session, we're digging into that age-old debate of public school versus private school in Metro Atlanta. 11 Live's Naima Abdullahi looks at the factors that play into the decision in this week's ATL culture. It can be a stressful process deciding where to send your kids, private or public school. Some of the things that factor in, affordability, location, the curriculum, classroom size, and college prep. Jennifer Keenan wants her children to connect with Atlanta's vibrant culture and history. One of the things we really um, value and appreciate about public school is the diversity. But an added benefit that I didn't realize until I became part of the school system was how much it increased um, my belonging in the community. She says she values the life skills public schools teach children, but for other families, the decision can depend on the individual child. I would say it's really an individual choice. I think family by family, maybe even a discussion with the children. There are prestigious private schools like Paideia, Westminster, Pace Academy, and Woodward, and public high schools like Walton High, Grady, Decatur High, Johns Creek, Shambly Charter, and more. It all comes down to how to get the best education for your child, what you can afford, and what's best for your family. Andrea Hamilton says she's starting her daughter off in the private route for specialized learning, then will transition her into public school down the road. So she can have a fuller, more worldly understanding of what life is like to better prep her in these next 12, 13 years. The visible difference is racial diversity. Another difference is socioeconomics. Regardless of the decision, the goal is to set up every student to be the best they can be. 